What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today I've got another what sold video for you guys. So I'm going to gather up everything that sold from over the weekend, Friday night through today, Monday morning. And I'm going to tell you where I got it, how much it sold for. And at the end of the video, we'll tell you the total profit I made on everything. All right, here we go. Everything that's sold. What a hat weekend. And I know a lot of people are going to look at this and say, oh my gosh, I need to start selling hats. Look how many hats he sold. Well, like I said in last week's video, look how many hats I have. All of these bins are full of them. I have over 2,000 hats in my inventory and I sold, what, 25 of them. So just so you know, hats are a slow seller. It is a nice bread and butter inventory that will take time to sell, but I know it will sell. So you need to really have patience if you're going to sell hats. So first off, we have this Austin P hat for $6 that I got at TJ Maxx, sold it for 20 bucks. Sold this Akron Rubber Ducks hat that we got at TJ Maxx for $10, sold that for $26. We got this Griffin's hat. This is an NCA school as well. This was like $2.99 because it's a Russell hat and I sold it for $18. We sold both of these pen hats. These are my last two pen hats. Those were five bucks at TJ Maxx and we sold each of those for 20 bucks a pop. Then one buyer actually bought three of these small school hats and these were $2.99 at TJ Maxx, I believe for both of these because they're both Russell, yep. And they paid $40 for all three of these hats, so not bad. Actually, I think maybe $45. They paid shipping on those as well. And we've got all of these Marshall hats as well as that one after that big win over Notre Dame. And those actually weren't $4.97. They were 50% off at a local store. So $2.50 on all of these. And I sold them anywhere between $16 and $18, depending on the style. Not bad at all. And we sold five of those this weekend. Then we got this one for $5. I forget where I got this. This was at a local store as well. And I sold it for $32. I couldn't believe it was $5 for a Nike camo Ohio State hat. That was just like a no-brainer. Don't even have to look up comps on anything like that. And we got this Frisco Rough Riders hat that I got for $10 at TJ Maxx. And sold this bad boy for $25. Next, these are all pallet hats. So anywhere from like $2 to $3 each. We sold this Ohio State hat for $18. We sold this seattle seahawks hat for 16 dollars we sold two bills hats those are like 27 28 bucks a pop they're obviously playing well so those will do well uh, this is a really cool ucla hat i've actually had for a couple years sold it for 18 bucks and then same thing with this tennessee hat had this for a little bit but sold it for 18 dollars as well shout out to i believe jay rigney and bread and butter on these i believe he called these out these were 10 dollars an amazon flash sale we ate them up in bread and butter and sold it for 30 bucks. Obviously costumes and other Halloween stuff will start picking up, but we're still a couple weeks out from that really happening. Then we've got this Washington State hoodie that I got from my local embroidery shop. Got this for $1.50 actually and sold it for 20 bucks. Same place I got these for like $2.50. Just sold it for like 10 bucks. This was actually when LeBron was there is when I had these and I was selling so many of these. Just had a couple stragglers left after he left, but they're getting good again. They just traded for Donovan Mitchell, so the Cavs are looking like they could be pretty good here soon. So hopefully I can move the rest of those. Then we've got this Looney Tunes hat. This was actually 75% off at Meyer, so it was like $1.20. Just crazy and like something you don't have to look up comps on. Obviously, I wasn't going to find comps on this exact shirt, but $1.20 for a Looney Tunes shirt. Who says no? Sold it for 16 bucks. I don't know what creep bought this Deshaun Watson Texans jersey, but they did. I got it for six bucks a while back and sold it for $30, so not a bad turnaround there. Then we've got this Arizona Cardinals hoodie. I honestly cannot remember where I got this. It was online. It was anywhere between eight and $15. I checked so many websites that I honestly just can't remember, but I remember usually what I pay for things. And I sold this for $40 on Mercari. Then we sold two of these Clemson Nike polos. We got those in that Nike sample lot that I got from B stock. And I sold those for $25 a piece. And those were like $6 each. We sold this Ray Dunn sheet set. This was from Dallas a couple times ago. I'm heading back to Dallas soon. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, $16.99 on that from Marshalls and sold that for 40 bucks. Then we sold two lots of these. Got these at one of my local pallet bins places. Four of these for $24. They're all different masters of the universe. Motu figures. And I sold those for 80 bucks per box, which is really nice when I only had $24 in it. These won't cost that much to ship. They're already in the retail packaging and ready to ship. This was a bread and butter call out. I called out a bunch of different ones of these the last week from Kroger and sold this for $48 and I paid $20 for them. 
This was from the same place as these. They had a lot of toys in this last week. I got these for $5 a pop, pun intended there. And I'm selling them together for about 35, 40 bucks, depending on the platform. They're moving slowly, but it's really good inventory. And like when a pop comes sealed with a hard case like this, it's obviously gonna be good. So I just bundle these two together, which is really nice. We got this Steelers Crucial Catch hoodie at Marshalls for $35, moved it on eBay for $85. We got these actually with my Kohl's cash, so they were free. This was last year and just selling them for 20 bucks. Got this in that eBay store that I bought out. If you guys haven't watched that video, check that out. I bought out someone's entire eBay store and I sold this for 45 or 50 bucks. This was a Green Bay Packers Nike hoodie. And we sold four boxes of earplugs. That was from that Habitat for Humanity palette. And I sold all those for 20 bucks a box. Two of them are to the same person. We got the Yankee Dino. We only have five of those left. I think I started with like 120 of those and I've moved so many of those. 20 bucks a pop and I got those for anywhere between five and 50 cents from BitFDA. Then down here, if you haven't seen one of my most recent videos, check it out. I got these for 50% off of that. So they were $44.50. Already sold this one for $165. And the price should go up, especially when that movie comes out in a week or so. That stuff will start going hot. Then over here, just like last week, we got our last exercise bike. We sold three of these last week. Got these for $3 at one of the bin places and sold it for $40 on eBay. We sold two of these snowmen to the same buyer for 40 bucks and those were literally five cents each from BitFTA. Then over here, these are from that eBay store that I bought out as well. Um, I paid like 1200 for that whole store, I believe, and I sold these for $80. I'm almost in the money back range on that. Obviously, I sold two things today, and I still haven't listed half of it. I know I said that like a month ago. I literally haven't touched it since then. I have like two full boxes of brand new sealed hoodies just like this. And now that I see I've sold this many hoodies today, I'm definitely going to get those up because hoodie season is almost here. Under here, we got this LeBron poster. This was $1 from my supplier, sold it for $15. We got these Crocs loafers here. These were 20 bucks, a bread and butter lead. Sold those for $50. These were from BitFTA. These were a dollar each, just some white tiger slippers. And I sell those for 20 bucks a pop. And we've got these Christmas clogs I called out. Oh, probably in like March. They had a pricing error on Amazon. They were like $27. I told everyone to just hold out till Christmas. Well, it's not even Christmas and I'm already selling them for $60. I'll raise the price as we get closer. I have pretty much that whole bin full of them. Then let's get into our bricks. We had a big bricks weekend, all these shoe sales. We got these from Meyer for 40% off of $48. I've been selling lots of these work shoes you guys have been seeing and I sell those for $65. Then under that, we've got these Asics that were also from Meyer. Those were 40% off of $39 and I'm selling those for 60 bucks a pop. Nothing big, but they're moving super quick. These I got from the Nike outlet actually last week. $19.99 on those, but it was actually 30% off of that. So $12. I legit didn't look these up. How do you turn down Nike basketball shoes for $12? I really wish they had more than one pair, but what are you going to do? I moved those for 60 bucks. Then this is a bread and butter online lead that Hayden called out. $25 for Nike free runs. These ones sold out in like five or 10 minutes, I remember. This was absolutely crazy. I forget what store this was from, but absolutely insane to find free runs that cheap. Sold them for 75 bucks. Then these I actually got for free from Mercari. I had some money from referrals that I use, but the person actually sold them to me for $56. Obviously I use $56 in referral money, but I sold them for $80 on eBay. You can actually snipe pairs from Mercari and move them to eBay. I've done it in the past. This one would have been slim margins if I didn't have the referral money but I ended up turning $56 of referral money into $80. Then these are all NFL Nike shoes that we called out about a couple months ago. We told people once the season rolled around, these were gonna be really good. And these Steelers here were $63. We also have Cowboys that were $63 on the bottom. And we got Eagles that were $53. The Cowboys and Steelers I moved for 120 and the Eagles I moved for 110. So really good profit margins there and they're moving super quick. Wish I would have bought more, honestly. Then this stack is here from that Kohl's sale. We got these Converse. They're just white standard low Converse that I got for $23 from Kohl's that I'm selling for like $55 to $65 depending on the size on eBay and Amazon. And then we've got these Simpson slides here. These weren't $35. They were like 12 bucks, I believe. And I'm selling them for $40 a pop. Only have a couple of those left. Also, one last thing I sold were these Lightning McQueen Crocs. I actually got them shipped out on Saturday. We called these out in bread and butter. Hayden actually called these out in store at any Anyone that had
had Croc stores. This was like a week ago by the time you're seeing this. They stocked these and they haven't stocked these in years. And these things were going for over like $300 a couple weeks ago. Because they've stocked this many, they're trending around $120 right now, but they're only $60. So it's an easy double up. Lots of members ate up on this this last weekend, including me. They limit you to one pair per store. So I only got one pair, but it's sold within hours of listing. So I just wanted to include that in because that's going to be in my final number. So that pretty much does it for everything that's sold this weekend. Now I'm going to get everything packaged up and at the end of the video we'll get into the final numbers. And here is everything that's sold from over another huge weekend. All right, so breaking down the final numbers on eBay, we sold 58 items for $2,629. On Mercari, we sold five items for $129. Nothing on Amazon or any other platforms today, just eBay and Mercari. For a total of 63 items sold for $2,758 in gross sales. Now, as always, let's take out all of our costs to get our total net profit. So take out our cost of goods sold of $719, our shipping of $316, and our fees of $341 for a total net profit this weekend of $1,382. Now, as always, let's multiply that by 52 to see what we would do just in the weekends on net profit, not counting the weekdays. 72 grand a year and don't worry i did not forget we still have our weekly giveaway congratulations to Haley williams on winning last week's giveaway in the what sold video all you have to do is comment anything down below and you're entered in the giveaway i give away ten dollars every single week in my what sold videos just stay tuned to next week's what sold video and i'll put it in a random part of the video and when you win just shoot me a dm on instagram to claim your 10 bucks and again guys all glory to my lord and savior jesus christ i'm so blessed and thankful to be able to do this as a full-time job and to be able to share it with you all and hopefully help you out a little bit and i don't make any of these videos to brag or anything simply to motivate and show what it's like to be a full-time reseller so keep on grinding keep on hustling everyone quarter four is just around the corner you can see sales are starting to pick up if you're not already following me on instagram you can do so at millennial under score profit you can also check out my cook group bread and butter that i've talked about a couple times in this video if you're interested on that you can join first link in the description if you have any more questions or anything shoot me a dm on instagram or shoot us a dm on instagram at bread and butter group there's money to be made everywhere guys let's go get it thank you for watching the millennial profit